12 News is your local election headquarters. While there are four days left until Election Day, thousands have already cast their ballots early in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, whether that's in person at a polling center or dropping their ballot off in a drop box or sending it in the mail. Take a look at the screen. As of yesterday afternoon in Rhode Island, 46,568 voters have voted early and nearly 25,500 mail-in ballots have been received. You can cast your ballot at early voting centers up until Monday in Rhode Island, the day before Election Day in Massachusetts. Today is the last day to vote early. After today, you'll have to wait until Election Day to vote in person. Even if the votes are sent in early, it doesn't mean we know how people voted. The ballots aren't read by machines until Election Day and polls close at 8 p.m. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming explained how significant these ballots could be. On the mail ballots, almost 65% of the applications with Democrats. I know on the early voting right now, 49% of the people who voted are Democrats, and the Republican number is low. So the question is, if you're a Democrat and you're trailing by a little bit before the machine, before the mail ballots and the early voting comes in, you probably will catch up on, the, um, on those votes when they do show up. And even if we know their party affiliation, we don't know how the voters actually voted on each issue. Even though early voting runs through Monday in Rhode Island, we found that no community, at least based on their website, has polls open this Sunday. And only voters in East Providence and Providence will be able to find an open polling station tomorrow, Saturday. You'll want to check with your community before heading out to vote. All right, Kate, and a reminder that we're bringing you another debate tonight between Rhode Island General Treasurer candidates James Diosa and James Lathrop. You can catch it at 6.30 on Fox Providence. We'll also be streaming it live at WPRI.com. We're trying to make it very easy for you to get ready for Election Day. You can scan this QR code. It will take you to the mobile link here, bookmark it. You'll be able to find out where your polling spot is, how to get a sample ballot, and resources so you can research the candidates who are all vying for your vote. It's all on WPRI.com and the 12 News app as well. 12 News, your local election headquarters. Today is the last day to vote early in Massachusetts. Rhode Islanders have until Monday. For more than 72,000 Rhode Islanders, it's too late for the candidates to reach them because they've already voted early, either through in-person early voting or mail-in ballots. Massachusetts candidates and advocates for ballot questions have today to reach those voters before early voting ends in the Commonwealth. But the majority of voters still haven't cast their ballots in either state, so that's why these final days will see a boost in attack ads and campaign events this weekend. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming said it's difficult to predict voter turnout this year because of the relatively new impact that the early voting has had on getting people to cast a ballot. Normally, we would see a turnout of somewhere between 340,000 to as possibly as high as 400,000. Two years ago, we were over 500,000 for the presidential race, but this is not a presidential, so the turnout will be lower. But I think it could go anywhere between, it's a big range, 340 to 400,000 due to the fact we don't know how much impact the early voting and the mail ballots are going to have. The polling centers appear to be open today and Monday in most Rhode Island communities, but on Saturday they're only open for people living in East Providence and Providence.